All right, so I am going through a bathroom remodel. And as part of this, I'm going to kind of document it step by step. I missed a little bit of it because I already demoed out the tile in the shower. Um, so that part's been skipped over and some of the tile on the uh, trimming of the floor. But tonight what I'm going to do is take out this lovely bathroom vanity mirror. Uh, it looks like it's from like 1950. God only knows. Um, all I have is my drill with me right now. We're going to see if I can get it down. Um, if anybody has a similar vanity mirror, it has like the bifold cabinets. It's the old school ones. It's not recessed or anything. It's just flush mount on the wall. Um, it looks like it's just up by some screws and maybe a couple of like random nails. I don't know if those were added later on to reinforce it. Um, but this bad boy has been up here forever. <laughs> I want to say it was here when I uh, got the unit and I would guess that it's been here ever since this building was built. So we'll see how this comes down, but this just goes to show you, um, you can just fumble through it. Like I'm about to fumble through it and I hope you guys enjoy watching me fumble through it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, and it's just me. So <laughs> I want to take the bathroom vanity itself out, but I'm going to wait and do that after I get the mirror down because I don't really know how heavy this is. It's older. So I'm going to assume it's a little bit heavier than it looks. Um, and if it comes tumbling down on me, since I'm doing this by myself, I want it to at least fall onto the vanity. So that was my whole strategy behind taking this down before the vanity and sink itself. Um, so here we go. Here we go. I'm going to set you guys over here. Over here, maybe. Let's see how this goes. I don't know how good of a view that is. Hopefully it's good enough. Hopefully you can see. And then I just have the drill set to reverse out the screws. I'm going to kind of go at them a little slow to start and then pull it out. Oh, it looks like this bad boy is in three pieces, which actually I'm a fan of that because that means it's going to be lighter one piece at a time. I'm going to do, or actually maybe it's just the backing pieces that are three piece and then this front overlay. I don't know. It's like a one piece. We'll see. Not sure. It's an interesting piece. Keep my screws together on the ground just so I have them in case anything goes awry. The biggest thing I'm worried about is really just the glass. Um, you have to be really careful with glass. The brakes, of course. You can get pretty injured by the glass shards. Okay. Another one. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm over here banging. I've got neighbors behind me. I'm sure they love me and my projects. There's a couple screws in that one. So Ooh. I'm going to come back to that side. Oh my god. Kidding. Oh, just some Q-tips. I think this one will release this side. I'm just making sure I put a little more 
pressure. The screws are stripped. So I'm just backing it out slowly. Since it's a little stripped out. piece down. Don't know how many more to go, but success so far. Just taking my time with it because like I said, since it's got glass, I don't want to be quick and forceful. Okay, so this side has some screw or has some This side has some nails, so I'm going to go get and grab another tool real quick. I'm going to see if I can pull, um, there's some nails, but they don't have much of a head left on them. They were kind of over um, applied, so I'm going to try to see if I can get them out with this tool. Well, three in one, four in one, whatever tool. Let's see if I can get enough grasp on the head of the nail. Ooh, that one is. I'm just trying to get some type of grasp on the nail to get it out. Sometimes it just takes brute force, though. <laughs> oh, see? Brute force. Got a nail. Just by wiggling it a little bit, two nails out. My brute force technique always works, all else fails. You brute force it. You wiggle it. Have some patience with it. This is one nail at the bottom. I can tell that's going to be a bear. I want the top's already coming out. Yeah, that one's already loose. Is this one at the bottom? Got her. She's coming whether she wants to or not. There you go. Just kind of wiggled the nails out. I wasn't able to get behind them and grasp at them with that tool like I was hoping I would be able to. But it's kind of a tight space. And those nail heads were pretty rusted and messed up. Okie doke. Now, seeing behind what's behind the mirror is always a fun part too. Alright, so this third part is looking a little interesting. <laughs> okay. I see a couple nails. I don't think there's much of a caulk line or anything. I'm not really too sure what all's keeping it up there at this point. Interestingly enough, I only see two nails. Let's see if I can shimmy. I just don't want to mess up the uh, drywall because I don't know where my new mirror is gonna lay over this. So. The best technique is to not mess up the wall behind it, <laughs> at least in my opinion. 
but people may disagree. Just trying to shimmy that nail out. I gotta move this piece of glass. Okay, I've got some grasp on that one. There's one nail on that side. There's literally only one nail on this side. I'll have to climb up there and see if there's something up top. Because it's like at this point, I don't know what's really bracing it up there. Unless there's something I can't see. Ooh, got that nail. Yeah. Pretty much shimmied out. I just want to be careful in my not forcing it too fast. Just shimming it little by little. Okay. Like it's literally one nail that's holding it in right now. There she is. There she blows. It's exactly why I wanted the uh, counter there. Is so when that came down, it didn't come crashing. It's a little bit lighter than what I thought it would be, but still is a party of one. Here, currently working on it, and. Uh, just not knowing how cumbersome or awkward it's going to be when it comes down. Kind of better safe than sorry. So it looks like actually there may have been a different mirror under this. Almost looks, I don't know, unless they just didn't finish the drywall. Looks like it almost had like a little uh, recessed medicine cabinet at some point. So, um, <laughs> This is now what it looks like. The vanity is out. She down. I might have to do some drywall repair. I'm probably just going to put a mirror to cover this. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to patch that hole because I'm getting this unit ready to sell. So, yeah, probably just leave that there and put a mirror over the top, to be honest with you. Um, I may, may not even need to fix too many of these holes from the nails or anything just because hopefully my mirror will cover that uh, probably have to smooth out some of this though sand it down and then when I repaint the bathroom just repaint over that so there she is that's how she came down hopefully that helps somebody like <laughs> I no clue how to do it you just kind of fumble through it and you do it slow and steady and you try to be as uh, cautious and careful as you can it's very hot here right now in this area where I'm at. Um, just be slow and cautious. Try to have some tools. Try to be uh, smart and safe as you're doing it. Maybe do it before 11.40 p.m. at night so your neighbors don't hate you. Um, but that's what it looks like. Tomorrow I'm going to take out this um, vanity and sink, hopefully. That's the plan. And I will try to record that live so you guys can see that hopefully it can help somebody at least one person um i'm just taking on this remodel hopefully by myself as much of it as possible um i, I don't know how to plumb so i'm gonna have to have somebody do the plumbing when i get the new tub surround in here but yeah this is what it's looking like so far <laughs> Looking rough, I know, but it's got to get worse before it can get better, I guess you could say. So here it is, and tomorrow I will be back on, hopefully, with the Vanity Lance. How are you? Thanks for joining live. Um, but I will come back on tomorrow and hopefully show you guys the Vanity. Hopefully you can come along for a little bit of the progress. Hopefully you had fun watching me sweaty and removing <laughs> that Vanity. I didn't, didn't get hurt, didn't break any glass, didn't break anything actually. So I'd say that's a success for the night. 
Uh, hopefully this helps at least one person out there. You guys, as usual, desire to inspire and seek inspiration every day. You are capable of anything. Remodeling, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Plumbing, you can do it. <laughs> so I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.